Hey, what's up, fam? A new manga out from uh, Nakayama at Sushi, who uh, I've said I've really liked before. He did Nejimaki Kaguya or Taro and uh, Wang Tang Chang, the Yuru Hunter. And I was actually really upset because Wang Tang Chang just got uh, just ended, and uh, I thought it was fun, but it didn't look like it was kind of. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know the 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 expectancy life on it, but it, it ended with uh, chapter. I think 5.4, which is pretty unfortunate. Probably fits gonna all fit in one volume, but with this and uh, and Kodaka Kazutaka, which from what I've looked up has done some uh, uh, Danganronpa. I don't I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, novels, and they're doing this uh, really weird kind of almost. I I feel like it's gonna turn a little bit into kind of like battling, but gambling manga and. Uh, I, I really liked, I, I really like uh, Nakayama at Sushi's art. Uh, he's excellent at everything that I've seen him in. And it, it really goes to show here when he adds a lot of creepy vibes to it. And uh, I, I gotta say, I'll put, I'm gonna put the link in the description uh, to try this out. But uh, the series seems to follow this girl, uh, Shinonome Karen. Karen, I don't know how it's pronounced. But... She has horribly, horribly bad luck. People have called her like the plague, and she just has this kind of horrible, you know, uh, broken mirrors, crossed by a black cat, everything you kind of think of luck. And uh, shortly in the story, she bumps into some girl who's like tries to be nicer. She's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, it's all right. I'll show you around." And she she's happy because she thinks that maybe she's made a friend. Things aren't going so bad. She's not all unlucky. But that person was actually, this girl was kind of setting her up to uh, bring this new person in to gamble with some of the rougher guys in their school who were, were trying to cheat her out of a, like a thousand dollars equivalent. I think it was uh, 10, uh, 10, 10,000 yen coins, which I, I believe that's, yeah, 100 each, about a hundred dollars each. So about 10 or about a thousand dollars. And they were, they were playing pretty unfair, being, uh, being pretty wonky. Trying to pretty much just try to cheat this girl out of her money when the male lead of the series shows up, who is the uh, the teacher that she is set in her class, her homeroom teacher. I'm trying to get to the guy's uh, name again to uh, see what in uh, Komode Nagisa, which is cool. And I guess his name literally means spider hand, which is really badass and especially when uh when, when you get this kind of like the artistic parts of him because he for his design he looks really normal because he's like in his he's in his uh his suit he's got his glasses on and he doesn't look anything special but he has kind of like this dead eye uh, stare and he, he comes in he's like i'm gonna i'm gonna take uh i'm gonna take cutting spot uh i'm going to gamble for her and instead of a thousand or uh, instead of a ten thousand yen coins he's going to do a hundred thousand yen and he's uh up to a million a million yen which i think that's ten thousand dollars and uh with the the style they're doing they're kind of doing this like guess what cup it's under game but at the same time they have multipliers so we can go up to four million yen and uh when they're like i don't know if we want to have this guy uh he's like yeah i have this uh i have this c4 bomb that somebody made for me and uh, if you refuse, I'm just going to drop it. <laughs> it's going to explode. It's got ten times the amount that destroyed that wall. And I'm just going to go, you know, screws to it. Let's do it. They, they, the other guys agreed to it. And then they, they start the game. The the guys, the whole thing, I guess, is... Like I've been saying, uh, there's been a lot of manga coming out where the the characters' goals aren't, aren't as, as normal set uh, as a lot of shonen manga. This guy, his whole thing is he hates gambling, so he, he wants to use his superior skills to kind of force gamblers to stop gambling by beating them and i i think that's uh, i think that's pretty cool <laughs> i wonder if he uh if he'd meet jogi from uh memesis and see how that go the dude who's just obsessed with gambling but it, it's really weird because once he once he starts gambling he takes off his uh he takes off his glasses and his and his kind of like uh, uh the, the coat to his suit and his hair turns like this fucking crazy, like stringy white color, and his, his skin gets darkened. But and then he has like this cracking, like spiderweb look to him with these bloody eyes that are just kind of dripping. And he's he's talking about how it's uh, his body is just kind of rejecting the point of gambling to where he's like becoming this demon. And see, like I, like I said a lot of times, I really like this guy's art style, especially. It's, uh, my favorite panel is probably the one that I'm using right here, the, this page. 
and it's just the, the dude is crazy like the the color page that I'm, I'm using for the uh, the background cover where I usually I put the the volume covers is it, it, you have to look at the whole thing it's just gorgeous looking you know I, I didn't want it to uh, I, I don't want to try and squeeze it into one spot where you can only like corner but I, I did try and kind of get it to fit in the format oh, man, I it's weird because like I, I'm usually like a shonen action battle guy and sometimes I'll get into like slice of lives and Sometimes I'll get into, you know, anything offset that just kind of catches my attention. This is about gambling, and it's really, it's really kind of caught my eye. I'm hoping it, it eventually has some form of uh, cool battle style stuff because I, I like this. Uh, I like the artist's uh, choreography and the way he does battles. Uh, but it would be cool to see it kind of be an aspect while still kind of keeping the gambling portion. Like maybe they, there's a, uh, it'll be a multiple kind of like half game, half fight, kind of like the Grand Magic game, which was in Fairy Tale. But I, th I think that'd be pretty cool, especially when you're, it looks like some of the people in this world are going to have powers, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know. This At least these, I don't know, weird, boss, scary boss-looking characters as they gamble. But when it comes down to it, uh, the, the whole kind of setup was actually staged because uh, Komoda wants to get uh, Karn into his special club that he's trying to organize to get rid of gamblers. But uh, during the whole thing... It turns out that the guy that they're going against, this guy with the dreads, uh, tried to cheat at the end and, and switch it because he was going to make it so he uh, make it so he had to pick uh, the four, the times four cup, to where he would have had to pay him four million yen when it was supposed to be under the one cup, and it was because he he noticed that one sweat drop of the guy getting nervous when it came down to that last bit of of uh if this goes through i'm gonna get four million yen and that, that yeah like i said that one that one sweat drop on it on his forehead was able to to give away to the to komode what exactly was the true one and that's when he uh that, that's when he guessed the right one and gave the dude a little bit of a well you fucking tried money and then blew up their freaking club while walking away not looking at the explosion which was awesome, and then inevitably getting uh, Karin to join his club. I'm wondering if these guys were defeated, or like when he said he was going to kill gamblers, if he literally meant killing them, because it looks like, uh, I feel like those guys are dead, because I, I assumed it was going to turn into maybe like a, a little bit of a battle manga near the end, and maybe the guy was going to be like pissed off that he lost, and then they're going to show like their powers or something in something superhuman. But he, uh, for the most part, it looks like the, the villain guy of this was just a normal guy, and but still Komodo blows them up anyway, which is pretty crazy. And it's, it, like I said, it's just a, it's an interesting kind of weird look to, uh, into this whole thing. And I, I literally like the, I really like the main character already. He seems kind of crazy in a, in a fun, in a really fun way. They, uh, kind of really kind of pushes him away from a lot of normal Shona main characters. And then when, when, uh, when Karin gets to their club, which is a, a, a gambler's club that the, uh, the teacher has kind of put together in order to, uh, in order to use gambling to destroy gambling within their uh, their whole thing, with their their crew, it, one dude is uh, one dude. He ran out of uh, money, so he his bets is like letting people hurt him. The other one is some chick who just bets clothes, so it looks like she's mostly going to be a sexy fan service chick. And then the other one is this kind of like weird dude with like this spooky mask on. This is very appropriate to come out in October, to be perfectly honest, with some of the spooky panels. But all uh, it's not just kind of like the panels, like the draw, that kind of like that would present it. It's just this dude's art style as well. It's it's so good. I I, I have I've loved this dude's style since I I found Orotaro and went back and read Neji Maki Kagyu, went over to Wang Tang Chang. And I'm looking forward in, in Gambler's Parade. It's just so good looking. So check this manga out. Check it out. It's it's really cool. I'm I and it's in we not only that, it looks like it's already serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump. I'm wondering if that's why Wang Tang Chang kinda ended as it did. Is this guy's other series in a, a more prominent magazine with with a looks like a pretty good team doing this manga and and i hope that it goes far because i know that weekly shonen magazine is a lot cooler with the 
with giving series time to kind of get into a spot rather than a weekly show and jump that's like, oh, three months in you and you're not a, a big success, cancel it. So hopefully this goes to a good amount. I look forward to it. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Even the name they kind of came up with with their, their crew name is uh, Pink Spider, which then it has this really, really cool, uh, like little fluffy, fluffy looking death spider with a skeleton on its back. And even the next actually issue, I'm looking at it now, 57 pages for issue two. That's going to be pretty sweet. Like it's, I look forward to this. Like I, I keep saying, I, I really like this. Uh, I really like this guy's art style. I really like his weird mangas. So I look forward to, to the next issue. I'm definitely going to follow this. I wasn't kind of sure in, entirely when I was reading this because my channel is mostly like battle manga stuff. But I'm, I'm definitely going to be following this. I really, any of the series that I just I really like, even if it's, even if it doesn't get a lot of views, of, you know, but I, 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 I have so much fun reading and talking about these that it's, I can't not do it for the channel, you know. So, Tell me what you think in the comments. Are you interested in this? Do you think this is cool? Uh, I'll, I'll keep following it. Maybe if uh, after a while, if you're kind of maybe a little interested after a while, I can get you to try it out and see if you like it or not. But otherwise, uh, check out my other stuff. I do mostly manga stuff, Fairy Tail, Eden Zero, and Black Clover. Hopefully, Gambler's Parade will be within that as well soon enough. Uh, and I do some anime stuff, Fairy, the Fairy Tail anime. Uh, I do Radiance, Goblin Slayer. I still got to do my Goblin Slayer episode one review. I'll probably do it tomorrow uh, on a Monday. And if you like my content, I hope I can get you to give that th a thumbs up to this. Uh, give Maybe even subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. But if you are subscribed already, thank you. But otherwise, thank you very much for listening to this video. Bye.